My leg prosthetics are part of me. I feel like they're part of me. Getting my legs was probably one of the best moments I'd had that year. But my hands, no. So here comes the puzzle, which hand goes where. So you put this on like you'd put on a jacket. They're cumbersome to put on and off. If I'm picking up something like this, it's like baggage. If I'm picking up a towel, maybe. <laughs> ah! I prefer just not wearing them. You're gonna do the socks, right? Oh, cool. That will be so helpful. And just for my son, Xander, is he ever gonna accept me as I am this way? When I drop him off to school, there's like all these kids outside and some of them will see me and they will walk off the path. Some of them will just stand and stare. Emotionally, yes. It weighs heavy on him. Zanda, what are you going to make now? What is it playground. called? Oh, playground, OK. My name is Marcy, and I have known Victoria for 20 plus years. <laughs> it's boring. OK, boring. Make something fun, then it won't be boring. Yep. Watching Zanda through Victoria's sepsis episode was a struggle. He just shut down and did not talk did not want to eat, and did not know how to handle the whole situation. Does it feel different, Papa, when you hold my hand? Because now I'm missing the whole hand, and it's just shorter now? Like my hands feel different. Yeah, because it's not my hand hand, right? If Victoria got hands that look like hands, then Zander would feel his mom is normal, like everybody else. Oh my God, what if I get them and now I can tickle you harder? <laughs> then what's going to happen? <laughs> I'm hoping Allison's hands will help Xander feel confident. How many do you want? <laughs> he's learning fast and he's growing and he's adopting. He feels soft. He feels soft. And do you like when mommy does that? Mm -hmm. So. I love that about normalizing things with him. I love you, mommy. You do? Yeah. How much? A thousand and three hundred and twelve. <laughs> <laughs> no. So today I get to meet Victoria. Hands are by far the largest prosthesis that we make here. And let's not forget, she needs two. I'm excited. We are moving forward. The kind of prostheses I normally make, for example, an ear or nose, are kind of placed onto the face. Victoria's hands have to stand up to a lot harder treatment. What's in that bag? Can I use one of them? Yeah. What? Yeah. Wow. I need to bring in a fellow anaplastologist, David Robinson. He has a very special skill set, larger prostheses. He understands the weight bearing and the functional components that we need for Victoria. OK. Let's right. rock. Good morning. Hey, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you, Victoria. This is David. Hi, nice David. Nice to meet you, Victoria. Victoria. He'll be helping out with your case. So tell me a little bit about what you would want for your hands. The thing is, being around people with my son, it's uncomfortable for him because of the reactions they have when they look at me. So I would like to ease that on him. OK. Losing both hands is debilitating, but also really isolating. It takes away your connection with those you love, like your children. A mother's touch, that's what we're trying to restore here. There's also the eating function. So you'd like to try, hopefully, use a prosthetic hand to support your fork and feed if yourself? If it's possible. To help Victoria accomplish her goals, David will create the hand shapes. 
He'll put wire inside them so that she can pose those fingers to be able to grasp different objects. For example, holding under a water bottle, a lot of the times it's just a matter of moving the pinky in. And I'm working on the colors, those finer details, to really bring this to life. I'm like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> but before we proceed, determining a patient's candidacy for a prosthesis is very important. How is your sensation? Sensitivity, better now. I mean, I can do push-ups now with just my hands as this right instead of this. That's so. impressive. <gasps> It took a lot of practice. Do it. You counting? Mm-hmm. Okay, go. One, two, three. I am in the presence of a badass here. Nine, ten. Ten. Thank you. <laughs> we first start by taking impressions of both sides. Once we have those copies of your anatomy, mm -hmm. that gives us a start then for the definitive prosthesis. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's get messy. <laughs> Let's <do it. laughs> We're using an impression type silicone. All you have to do is pretend to be a statue. This is different. So That's gooey. right. How are your shoulders, Victoria? Yeah, perfect. Good answer. I think Victoria's fighting spirit has gone a really long way in how she's been able to deal with her amputations. I can't wait to see how he comes off because I don't see how this is going to come <laughs> off. Now the pressure is on us to deliver the goods. So I'm just going to wet this plaster bandage. Not only do these prostheses have to be tough enough to bear weight for her, but it's a lot of surface area. If I don't nail this color, they can look like they don't belong to her. Oh, you got the whole nice. thing. That's great. You didn't wax me either. That's right. <laughs> it's a really big day for Victoria and myself. It's been almost a month since we've seen each other, and her new hands are almost ready. But there's quite a bit to accomplish today. What are we doing? The prostheses are still on the mold, and so part of the challenge today is getting those off of there. I hold this side, you pull on that side, kind of maybe a little twisty motion. Sure. Okay. Hold her by the hand and I'll twist. Let's rotate, let's get it all the way around. Try just brute force. <laughs> okay. Worst case scenario is the prosthesis is torn. I'm worried about poking holes. No, no. Laura, we need you. You're the muscles. Yes. Laura's job description includes opening jars, removing hands from casts. Okay, pull, 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 pull. Pull. Leave. <laughs> Laura's got the guns. Oh, oh there it is. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Gabby. I told you we needed her. This way, Alexander. I have no idea what Allison has prepared for me today. Hello. Hey, Victoria. I am just excited. I'm anxious. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Holding my son's hand, it's something that I've been waiting for for a long time. I got butterflies for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a bag full of emotions right now. Victoria, we're ready for you. A little bit. I've been holding it all day long, and I need to be strong for them. I am so excited that I have my best friend in this journey, and um, it was really hard for her to even accept this process. Now, I hope, I hope, I hope she can be normal like everybody else. There's always a lot of buildup leading to this moment. For me, too. A full hand restoration is the largest kind of prosthesis that is made in this clinic. So it's a little bit of a judgment day there. 
I'm going in. So here you go. Wow, how is that possible? Seeing my hands for the first time is very surreal. This is Is it crazy. anything like what you imagined? No. It's better. <laughs> well, good. It's like you got someone else's hand and just put it over here. How is that possible? Putting on these hands is as simple as applying some lubricant and inserting her arms straight in. Let's just try it. You feel it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Does it feel like it's all the way in? Yeah, it is all the way. <laughs> Once Victoria rolls those silicone sleeves down, the suction will keep it right in place. Gosh, even that side blends right in with you. Great work. They are as real as any hand can be. Ready? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Ah! Oh, they're perfect. I see me. I see me that I haven't seen in two years. Like, hi. <laughs> How are you? Where have you been? <laughs> Happy to see you again. <laughs> like that. <Yeah. Sweat. laughs> <laughs> it's victorious. It's victory. See that? That looks so realistic. See? 